cool. Hey everyone, so I am here with my friend Erica and she is also a historian and will be speaking at the panel tomorrow. So I wanted to introduce her to you all and have her speak a little bit about her research so that you can get an idea of what we are doing here at Shear. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Erica. Um, I just wrapped up my master's uh, in Warren Society at Chapman University in Orange, California. Um, I'm a massive Jefferson dork, like fan, super <laughs> fan dork, like Caitlin and I have that in common. Um, we're actually here because I am doing a panel called uh, Negotiating Race in the Antebellum Era, with, Era Foodways, which is basically uh, panels from different regions on the East Coast from about 1800 to about 1850 and how um, race and particularly slave labor was involved in the production of food and food cuisine. So we're doing that tomorrow morning. Um, my research is largely on Jefferson with a lot of focus on cultural anthropology and cultural history as well as um, I'm moving towards a more environmental sort of route. Um, so we're really excited because not only do we get to totally geek out and I get to talk about my research with um, the professionals in my field, but Kaylin and I also get to do something really exciting, which we're going to hopefully talk about more later, which is networking, working on PhD applications, um, and working on grants and funding. So hopefully this is a nice little intro, and then as we give you more over the weekend, you'll get a better feel for what we're doing and what, um, what academic conferences are all about. So we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Perfect. All right, so that was just a quick intro on Erica. We're going to be filming a couple other segments uh, that I'll be putting up on my channel related to research, doing research as an undergrad, and our general experiences as going into graduate programs, applying to graduate programs, as well as attending conferences and networking with other professionals in the field. Hey everybody, so we're all checked into the hotel and we are getting ready for the welcome event. And I have my friend Kelly here and she's going to tell you a little bit about her research and what she's doing here. <laughs> Hi, I just finished my first year as an assistant professor at Luther College, which is a small liberal arts in Northeast Iowa. And I graduated last June with my PhD in history from University of California, Davis. And my dissertation, which is now a book that's gonna be published with Cambridge University Press, is, <laughs> is a farm to fork history of provisioning antebellum Charleston, South Carolina. So I love food, it's my second love to history, and that's how I ended up studying African American history and material culture and social history. And I'm looking forward to presenting on my research with Erica on our panel tomorrow morning. Perfect. Hi guys, we're so excited. It's the plenary tonight. So this is the first Annette Gordon-Reed sighting. We've already had the Joanne Freeman sighting. Very exciting. Do you want to tell them a little bit about our Joanne Freeman sighting? Yes, yeah, so Joanne Freeman wrote this amazing book called Affairs of Honor about how basically the Founding Fathers um, used political capital um, during the lead up to the revolution and then during the revolution. The author Joanne B. Freeman is a badass from <laughs> everywhere. She's at Yale now and she was in the lobby. And Kayla goes, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And I was like, well, we'll go say hi. So I just walked up and said, Ms. Freeman, we would so like to introduce ourselves. And then we chatted for a little while, and now we're all BFFs. And we're going to take signs to her round table tomorrow and, like, have a group cheer. Yeah, so we had a total fangirl moment in the lobby, which I'm sure is basically what's going to happen all weekend. But we're going to head down, and I will show you guys a little clip of the proceedings. <laughs> he said, I feel a new attachment to my and he boasted, I venture to predict there will not be a Negro slave in North America in 40 years. Well, we know, of course, that all three of these men would be wrong about abolition and therefore about happiness. Hi, um, I'm Erica Gibson. I just finished my master's degree at Chapman University in Orange, California. Um, and I guess my question is kind of collective. Um, and it, the progression was really good, but we have these founding beliefs um, but it seems like the founding beliefs maybe really aren't the founding beliefs, well, we agree they're not founding beliefs in our room, but are they inherently white beliefs? This is something I've sort of seen floating around that enlightenment, enlightenment beliefs might just be basically for the white privileged. And is that true, or do we have, I think I think we have more nuance, but I'd love to hear how, how you guys kind of play with that. Thank you. The enlightenment, there are lots of, there are many, not white people who are part of enlightenment, Good morning, everybody. It is Friday. 
and Erica and Kelly are presenting today. Um, they're presenting first thing this morning, so we are up early, ready to go. Erica already got her coffee, I have not. Um, so and I can't find the business cards. <laughs> so we're just getting ready now, and uh, I'm gonna go get coffee while they go get set up for the panel, and I will check in, um, I'll play some clips from the conference today so you can get a bit of a taste of what it's like and um, and then I'll kind of periodically uh, let you guys know the details of it and I hope you enjoy. So, and I'll back up for a minute because I will say that my first book, Affairs of Honor, is pretty much my dissertation. I didn't change very much. Mm -hmm. um, and I have the same desire to write something that is academic and scholarly, but also that could reach more broadly, particularly given that it was that particular group of dead white guys. Um, <laughs> I thought it might be at least willing to look in that direction, and then I might look at politics in an interesting way. In that book, that meant um, explaining things that might not need to be explained to a scholar, and, and the struggle there was, how do you explain what an 18th century newspaper looks like without making historians go insane, right? Hey everyone, I just wanted to check in. I went to all of the panels and whatnot today, and then I came back up to the room, took a quick nap, and now we are heading to the Massachusetts Historical Society for a reception. And there's this one professor I really wanna to talk to at the school I may potentially be applying to for a JD PhD, and I'm just trying to use this opportunity as a way to network as well as see if certain professors in the field may align with my area of interest so that I could potentially work with them um, for the PhD programs. So Eric and I are gonna head over and then we're going to go to a grad student like meet and greet. Um, so should be exciting. It's been a long day, but it's also been super fun and just the best conversations and awesome. best panels. <laughs> so we're gonna head out and I will check in in a little while and hopefully grab some clips from the events. Uh, good morning everybody. Today is Saturday of the conference and this morning we're just getting ready for the women's brunch. Last night we went to Massachusetts, <laughs> Massachusetts Historical Society um, and then we went out for drinks with some grad students and last night I met up with a girl that is currently getting a JD PhD at UPenn and so she gave me some really good advice. Um, that I'm going to put into action as I head into doing all my applications. And then I also had a really good chat with some girls from Columbia and also got some good advice or warnings about that program. Um, so it was just a really fun night of getting to just converse with professionals in the field and also other grad students and we had a really great time and today is my last day of the conference because I am leaving tomorrow to go look at grad wait, not grad schools, law, law schools, school. which is kind of in the same realm. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and head down with Erica. Say hi, Erica. Hi, Erica. Hey, guys. <laughs> and uh, we will check in in a little bit, and I hope you're enjoying this video. So I wasn't able to get any clips from the women's brunch, but I wanted to kind of recap it for you guys um, because I got to meet Annette Gordon-Reed today. I'm gonna insert a picture here with me and my friend Erica with her, and we got to talk about my research, Erica's research, and Jefferson, and it was just an amazing experience, and I think that's what these conferences are really about. It's about meeting other historians, it's about meeting potential mentors, it's about meeting the historians that you aspire to be like or the academics you aspire to be like and although you may not be in the field of history if you're watching this and are just interested in what it's like to be a grad student attending conferences this is something that is so important in order to kind of network but also kind of reaffirm uh, your research and just to stay current with the historiography or the current research that's being done and I think that is just so vital and I had the most amazing time so far. I have a couple panels today, but I think I'm actually going to end the vlog here. Um, 
this video. I don't know how long it's going to be, but I hope you really enjoyed it. And if you are also an academic, please go ahead and comment down below what year you're in, uh, what your research is, and I just want to connect with other academics and kind of make this a community space for us all to share our experiences. And anyway, I'm going to head over to the Law and Abolition panel, and I have just absolutely loved this year at Cheer, and I can't wait to attend more conferences in the future. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and if you are not subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video.